everybody, I'm Gino Reynolds from The Real Opinion. Today on The Real Opinion, we're going to be talking about two very different movies, kind of. One film is about fulfilling the American dream and what someone would do to obtain it. The other is about fulfilling erotic dreams and what someone would do to make them come true. Here are a couple of quick movie reviews for two films you may want to consider or maybe not consider checking out. First up is The Loft. Now I haven't seen the original 2008 film that this movie is based off of, simply called Loft, but now I want to see it. The main reason I want to is because I want to see if the original mystery is as painfully obvious as the one we are presented with in the remake. While I kind of enjoyed the movie somewhat, the way that the mystery is handled isn't done very well. Though some of the twists and turns are nice, the story tries to steer you in too many wrong directions which makes the ultimate outcome too easy to figure out. I guess what I'm trying to say is that for a mystery movie, it shows us too many of its cards. Also, the acting kind of does this as well. I really like all five of the main players in this movie and other films, but for the most part, they were all a bit off in this one. Finally, the ending is really cheesy and too quote-unquote Hollywood happy, if you know what I mean. Not a bad movie, but wait to see it after it comes out on DVD. Next up is A Most Violent Year. This is a film set in the early 80s and is about an immigrant trying to expand his oil business while having to deal with his shady competition. His and his opposition trucks are being hijacked. His business is also being investigated by the district attorney as well. Oscar Isaac plays a very layered character in Abel Morales who is just trying to live the American dream. The main plot of this movie is this. How far would you go to achieve that dream? Would you break your own rules and morals? Isaac proves why he is one of the best up-and-coming actors to date. Though there are some other strong performances in this, he leads the charge with his phenomenal acting. And Jessica Chastain, you are totally forgiven for Interstellar. I knew you had it in you. Her character has a dark side that you just can't wait to see come out. Albert Brooks is almost unrecognizable as Morales' right-hand man. This movie moves at a very slow pace, but it is one of those slow burns that will keep you watching. There are some really tense moments in this film that can go either way. There are some interesting twists and turns as well. Great performances, tense plot, and the 80s backdrop make for a highly recommended film. And there you have it, one film about fantasies you can live without and one about an American dream that is well worth your time. But remember, it's only just one guy's opinion. I'm Gino Reynolds from The Real Opinion. Until next time.